What is going on guys? I am officially the big uh, three zero. Uh, I had a fantastic time down in Nashville, Tennessee. Um, that's where I was last weekend. And uh, yeah, that city is crazy. Um, it is just, it is a lot to take in. Um, if you've never been there, um, it, I don't know. I would say it probably is worth going and checking out at least once. Um, but it is very much a party city. Um, it's just go, 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 go. Um, I don't know, maybe that's just the, uh, the, uh, the old man and me talking, but uh, it was definitely a lot over such a short amount of time. But um, nonetheless, uh, me and my wife and our close friends, um, we all had a great time down there. And uh, as you may have noticed already, uh, I am wearing this awesome Hot Wheels t-shirt that my wife ended up getting for me. Um, long story short, I kind of was joking around like the last like year or two telling her how I wanted like a Hot Wheels themed birthday party just to like, you know, like make fun of like, you know, being a kid but being an adult, you know, wanting like a Hot Wheels birthday party and stuff like that. Well, she ended up surprising me down in Nashville and uh, kind of threw me a small Hot Wheels birthday party, which was awesome of her to do that. So, and uh, yeah, she got me this awesome shirt straight from Mattel too. So uh, it's, it's official. <laughs> But um, speaking of which, I happened to stop at a Walmart on our way back home. Um, it was like right outside of the Airbnb we were staying at, so pretty much Nashville. And uh, guys, I am very, very glad that I stopped because I will show you the two things that I found. Um, this is the first thing. This is the 73 Holden Monero GTS. Um, this is out of the brand new Boulevard set, and this thing is fantastic looking. I love like the tangerine kind of color on it um i am just a huge fan of this casting i mean they knocked it out of the park with this thing and i know that, like a lot of the guys down in australia are going crazy over this as they should because i mean this is a very famous australian car nonetheless and um just cool because it kind of looks like a chevelle um but yeah i found that and uh to be honest this is really the only one on the set i wanted um the alfa romeo is cool but I really hate how they did like the backwards slanted exhaust on it. I just don't think it looks right. So uh, I didn't pick that up, but they have the whole set, but this is the only one I grabbed. So yeah, really stoked on that. And then um, also I found this and uh, I'm super, super, super pumped to have found this. And uh, what that is, is my second gold M2 Machines Chase. And uh, this is limited edition to 750 pieces. And um, this is the 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner 440 six pack. Check that bad boy out. Got the gold wheels, got the gold grill, gold on the bumper there. Um, what else? I think that's it, yeah. Yep, gold wheels, gold bumpers and stuff, which makes it the chase. But uh, yeah, I mean, it was literally like the second one on the peg. I mean, they just had to have stocked these things out. And uh, I was the first one there. I mean, I'm not sure if there's crazy hunters down there or what, but I um, mean, it was early in the morning, like 10, 30, 11. So, which I mean, I guess it's kind of late morning, but anyways, um, really pumped on that. So it was kind of like a birthday present to me uh, finding this and uh, yeah, I mean, this is the first like uh, yeah, auto driver or whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't have any other ones of these. And I mean, if I if it wasn't a chase, I wouldn't have picked it up. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet. I mean, I'm probably going to keep it in my collection for a little bit, admire it. But uh, I'm kind of tossing around the idea of trading for it. And uh, I don't know, just because like I said, I mean, M2 is not really my thing. So, uh, but it's, it's still really cool. I mean, it's a gold chase, so can't go wrong with that. And then um, also real quick, I wanted to give a huge shout out to uh, 55 Gasser, Ivan. Uh, I got three of his awesome stickers that a lot of you other guys have been getting as well. And uh, he's got the holographic on it, just like I do. And uh, these things are super, super sweet. So big shout out to you, man. Um, thank you so much for the stickers. Um, he recently just got my last one too. I mean, not really my last one, but the other ones are all spoken for and uh, I just got to ship them out to the people. So big thank you to him. So uh, yeah, whenever I find out what I'm gonna do with all the stickers I have, um, you will definitely be going along with them, man. 
And then we have a quick kind of little mail call here. Um, this is from Mark. I forget. I don't really know how to pronounce his last name, but he's on like uh, the Hot or the uh, Honest Diecast Facebook page and on YouTube. He goes by 69 Stingray, so I'm sure a lot of you guys know him. And uh, this is actually a trade we worked out. He is actually the one that I sent um, the Canadian Gasser and what else? What else was it? The Canadian Gasser. Oh, and there's like a Christmas Gasser, like a Nomad Gasser, and I. I think that was it. I can't remember, but um, yeah, we've had this trade worked out for quite a while now. And actually, I got this package probably like a week or two ago. Um, but I told him that you know I already had my video filmed and stuff like that, so it would be the next one, which is this one that you guys are currently watching. So, and uh, I mean, I do know what's in here. I mean, unless he threw in something extra, but uh, yeah, let's check it out. We have a note here. Jake, hope you enjoy these cars. I included a couple cars. Uh, they are the oh, they are the harder to find ones from the Matchbox set. Mark, AKA 69 Stingray. Awesome. So thank you very much, man. You did not have to do that. I greatly appreciate that. Really good packaging here. And the first one I got, um, and I'll be honest, I really only got this for the wheels and maybe some other stuff off of it. But uh, it is the um, the Pandem Subaru BRZ from the Side Street set. I mean, I already opened this set up, I already have it. So I really just wanted it for the wheels. I mean, figured if I didn't have to buy it, um, it's worth just getting it for the wheels and probably the wing too. I might slap the wing on something. So that's really cool. And then this, I'm really pumped to get into my collection. Um, I don't have a whole lot of trucks and this also actually goes with that 83 Silverado the Golf one that I opened up a while ago this is the 78 Dodge Little Red Express done in the shell um, I mean shell livery that's super cool it's just as iconic as Golf in my opinion so uh and I'm a pretty big fan of the Little Red Express I think these are just really cool trucks and I love like the smokestacks coming off the back so that's awesome thank you for that man and then, oh I forgot about this box out of the way real quick it's probably gonna be a longer video guys just so you know just warning you now um yeah this thing is sweet what year did this come out oh wow 2001 yeah this is an old oldie right here but this thing is super cool this is a uh jada toys um street low blue rider series uh 2001 chevy astro van that thing is sweet looking. Look at that thing. Tell me you have not seen a cooler Astro van than that. Got the got the wheels on it, the dubs, the wire, wire mesh wheels, nice candy red paint with some pinstriping there. This thing is sweet. I don't know. He just he was sending me pictures and uh, this thing like really caught my eye and I don't have any like Jada 164 and I mean from over 20 years ago. It'd be cool to try to find the rest of this set, but yeah, that thing's sweet. I don't know if I'll open it up or not. I mean, it's pretty old. I don't know if, what it's worth either, but probably keep it recorded for now. And then uh, this is really cool. Uh, I didn't pick any of this set up just because, I mean, as a lot of you guys know, I'm uh, Team Hot Wheels. But um, yeah, he threw in the 2008 Honda Civic Type R and the 71 Nissan Skyline 2000 GTX from the Japan Origin set. So that's really cool. Thank you, man. Um, I will either turn these into customs or I will pass these along. Or actually, I might even use them for the Diecast Day of Giving, October 15th. Please, guys, if you aren't doing that, um, guys, I mean, it only takes like a handful of cars. I mean, or one car. I mean, just one car could, you know, change some little kid's whole day, you know. So, I mean, I definitely plan on trying to do it. I mean, I don't know how many cars I'm going to be able to give, but um, it's a thought that counts. So, please, um please do that, you know, if, uh, if you can. So that was really cool of him. So thank you again, Mark. I really appreciate that um, for everything that you sent me. You didn't have to send those extras, but that was really cool of you. So thank you again, man. Please go check him out. I don't know if he posts like videos or anything on YouTube, but um, yeah, either way, go check him out. And then, um, yes, uh, that is all I really have to talk to you guys about. 
Um, and then also I'm sure a lot of you guys saw that I made my first Gaslands custom um, for CJD, Chris's Junkyard Designs, and uh, he was really stoked on it. And uh, I was definitely pretty happy with how that turned out. Um, so I will probably put in the overview video um, behind this one. And then uh, you guys can look at that and uh, kind of, you know, see what you guys think, see if I did a good job, see what I can improve on. I mean, it was definitely a lot harder than I thought, but um, either way, I had a lot of fun doing it and uh, maybe, who knows, I'll, uh, I'll do one in the future. But uh, he just, he, he really inspired me with like a lot of his customs and stuff that he's done in the past. So I wanted to make it special for him and uh, send him some other goodies too. So um, yeah. Other than that, uh, we will be doing a, I apologize guys, uh, I'm just trying to get back into the swing of things here. So, uh, yes, we will be doing a uh, a full set, like a, not, not a mix, just like a regular, um, you know, series or whatever you want to call it. Again, I apologize guys, just trying to get back into the routine here after being uh, off on vacation and whatnot and celebrating the, the big 30 so um also thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes and um all the positive support on my last video about me getting my uh, my sponsorship for the 164 sema show i uh, really pumped on that uh hopefully probably beginning of next week the car will be shipped off to 713 diecast to get custom airbrushed and then um, I got the wheels in, I got those fitted, um, got some other parts in for it. And then I'm also trying to wrap up two other customs too. So uh, I will definitely be showing those as well. So other than that, uh, sit back, hang tight. We will do the overview and then we will uh, get into the showcase and I will let you guys go. What's up guys? So like I previously mentioned, I made a Gasland custom for uh, CJD and um, I'm definitely very happy with how it came out. Um, I mean, there's there's definitely some things I wish I could go back and kind of redo, um, but I mean, again, this is the first time I've ever made a Gaslands Custom and um, I, mean, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into and it's definitely a lot more challenging than it looks. That is for sure, but uh, hopefully he's happy with it. And uh, yeah, so anyways, here it is. Um, so this actually came out of a five pack. Um, and this is called the Monster Dairy, I believe, or something like that. Monster Dairy Van or Monster Dairy Truck, something like that. Um, so yeah, that's what it originally started out as. Um, it was like white with like cow spots on it and bright orange fluorescent glass. Um, so I stripped it all down took the glass out of it and um, I did my best to kind of give it a weathering look. Um, I didn't really know how to go about it so I just tried to do it as best as I could and all, honestly a lot of this is actually just like my fingers and stuff running like running over the paints and smearing them and stuff like that. Um, so it is mostly like gray and black and I did kind of try to add a little bit of brown in there but um, didn't really work too well. But um, anyways. Um, I forget what I got the wheels off of because the other wheels were like a colored plastic and I really wasn't a fan of them. So I got these wheels and then I, actually, you know what? No, these wheels are off of the Baja Bone Shaker, I believe. And then I just kind of um, blacked out like the rings around them a little bit to give them kind of like a distorted look. And then um, the engine, the skull and the exhaust are all out of the Bone Shaker. Um, they were all, it's all cut and custom modified to fit in here. Um, I really had to chop up the front of the casting to get them to fit, but, uh, all in all, I think it looks really cool. I mean, it's definitely, I was definitely going for like a Mad Max kind of vibe <laughs> on this one. So that's why I put like the headers coming through the fenders and like the skull up front with the red eyes and, uh, big V8 in there. Um, I got the gun out of like a little army pack thing from a uh, Dollar Tree. Um, the only thing is I did not have any matte clear, so, um, the, the gun is a little bit, like, sticky still, kind of, because of the paint, um, but hopefully it'll, it'll dry, but, um, and it still moves and everything like that, and, uh, that was, like, really the only gun I thought looked cool on there anyways, and then, um, yeah, I did some window netting up front there, um, I made that custom roll bar or, uh, crossbar thing, 
in the middle there between the uh, the uh, engine and the um, like the uh, the inside. And then um, yeah, I mean other than that, uh, I did do some interior detailing. There's like a NOS bottle on the passenger seat, so I painted that blue, and then I did like the seat all black and like oily looking. Um, did some netting in the back there, and then I also uh, kind of weathered the whole the whole like base of it as well um and uh yeah even i had to like jb weld to keep the front from holding because i had to drill out the post and everything and uh yeah i didn't really do like detailing just because i figured it was a gas land so i didn't really need much and i did my channel sticker down there so uh yeah let me know what uh what you guys think i mean definitely you know like i said this is my first attempt at doing a uh like a gas lands you know type build and um it was definitely a lot harder than i thought guys i will be honest with you um i mean i don't know if maybe i just went too crazy or what but i just i don't know i wanted it to be pretty cool and be special for him and uh stuff like that so yeah uh all in all definitely uh definitely pretty cool definitely pretty fun to do and uh yeah let me know what you guys uh think of my first ever uh, Gaslands custom I did. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy the showcase guys. All right guys, so today's showcase will be on Japan Historics 3. Um, this is the only Japan Historics complete set that I have. I do not have any of the other cars from any of the other previous two sets unfortunately and uh, which kind of sucks because secondhand um, they fetch a pretty penny now and um, I mean, but I'm still really happy that I at least got my hands on this set and um, <clears throat> cause it has some really awesome um, nostalgic old school JDM uh, cars in it. Uh, and starting out, we have the Nissan Skyline RS KDR30 done in a nice bright red color um, with black two-tone underneath. Um, love the gold Watanabe style wheels on it. It's got the gold KS Turbo on the um or rs turbo excuse me on the uh, on the door down there um tail lights are done up very nicely the front is done up very nicely it's got kind of lightly tinted um windows on it and uh the card art's really cool too i mean it's kind of sitting i guess i'm assuming probably in tokyo and um it's pretty cool how they put like the uh the jh3 right there on like the sign in the city and um <clears throat> yeah i'm i'm a pretty big fan of this this card art i mean it's it definitely is very japanese very traditional and um i just really like how it looks so and uh yeah really like how this car looks too uh, i mean it's it, it's a skyline so i mean it's not it's not my all-time favorite skyline by any means but i mean these cars are still super nostalgic and uh super super jdm for sure so that is the first one then we have one of my all-time favorite Hondas, and one that I have, I think, all but like two color variations of, um, is the 85 Honda City Turbo 2. And uh, I mean, how can you just not love these little cars, guys? I mean, turbo Honda motor, super, super tiny, hatchback. I mean, it's on the gold arrow style wheels, which, I mean, don't look too bad, in my honest opinion on this. Um, I love the front end of these things. Um, it, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a very big uh, like hatchback fan. Um, like I, I think I've stated before, I've owned two Honda Civic hatchbacks, um, the EF chassis, and uh, they're just, I don't know, to me, they just scream Japan and uh, JDM. So this one is done in bright orange, as you can see. Um, I know the card art makes the Tampo look way more yellow than it is, but it's actually more gold. Um, got number 11 up there on the hood it says uh city turbo 2 up on the window it's got clear glass on it and i believe if i'm not mistaken but what they put in the back here is like a bunch of uh like japanese scooters or something that it's hauling around so that's really cool too and uh yeah i mean like i said i'm just i'm a huge honda city turbo fan and uh, uh my one of my goals in my collection is to try to get every color variation and i am very close to doing so so that is that one. Next up, we have this awesome Nissan Silvia. This is the CSP 311. 
And uh, I mean, this is a very vintage, old school, I mean, JDM ride right here. Um, done in like a, I don't know, it's kind of like a goldish green color. I don't really don't like puke green, I guess. Um, like metallic, um, silver accents on it. It's got like the windshield um, trim done up, the windshield wipers, tan interior, clear glass, nice kind of chrome deep dish wheels, uh, tail lights are done up. I mean, this is just a very, very classic car. Um, I'm honestly not, I don't really know too much about this particular chassis of the Silvia. Um, but it is kind of crazy to think of what they evolved into in the later years. I mean, everybody drifts them and stuff like that. So, nonetheless, it is, uh, it's very cool and it's very fitting for Japan historics. That is for sure. And then, once again, we have another awesome 1975 Datsun Sunny truck, the B120. And uh, this one's done in bright yellow metallic. Um, I believe this is actually the same paint that's on the um, on the Skyline in that Fast and the Furious set. I uh, I just showed you guys two videos ago, I believe. Um, it's sitting on the uh, the chrome four spoke wheels. Uh, again, big wide fender flares on it. Headlights are done up. Windshield's clear. Um, the uh, the truck bed is black. Uh, tail lights are done up. This one actually does not have Dotson written on the back of it though, which is kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is just a really clean version. I mean, I know the other one is super nice to BRE, but I mean, that one's got like a lot going on with it. This one's just a very simple, plain Jane, just very well executed truck. And uh, again, not a huge yellow fan, but I mean, I really don't mind it on this particular casting, to be honest. And um, they actually even did the, uh, I'll show you guys real quick, they even did the the uh, the details on like, uh, what is that, I guess like a blanket and maybe like some luggage or something back there, so that's really cool. And uh, yeah, I mean, an old school JDM truck, what is not to love about that? And last but not least, we have a 1968 Mazda Cosmo Sport. That is a cool little car right there. Um, it really reminds me of either like an old Jaguar or like a Spitfire. Um, my one grandfather used to, uh, well, I guess I think he still does um, have a Spitfire. And uh, I mean, they're just tiny little cars and that, I'm sure this thing in person is very, very tiny. But um, nice like white pearl metallic on it. Uh, tail lights are done up very nicely on it. Um, big trunk in the back there. Got chrome, deep dish, steely looking wheels. Got the vents and the side marker done. And then the headlights are also done up as well with a little bit of badging. Clear windows, um, gray interior. And uh, again, I really don't know much history about the, the Cosmo Sport. Um, I would imagine it would probably have a rotor in it. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but I mean, nonetheless, it's just a super classic, old school JDM car. I mean, I've never seen one in person. I've never even seen pictures of one online or anything. So uh, maybe I'll have to do some research after this and uh, see if anybody's tricked one of these things out or uh, swapped them with anything. So that will do it for the Japan Historics 3 set. I really hope you guys enjoyed this showcase. And of course, let me know which one is your favorite or they might all be your favorite. Um, this one, this set in particular, I don't know, I'm probably gonna have to go with the Honda Sadie Turbo. Uh, I mean, a lot of you guys might have seen that coming, but uh, I just absolutely love these little things, guys. They are just super, super cool. And um, I mean, the Skyline would probably be my second choice, followed by the Sunny. And then uh, I don't know about the Sylvia or the Cosmo. Those are kind of, uh, no offense, but kind of like pappy rides, right? <laughs> you know, but uh, hey, I'm also getting there, you know? So uh, yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for commenting. I love interacting with all of you guys. Um, we only have, uh, let's see here, about four more showcases. And then uh, that will wrap it up. 
and then we will move on to the next stuff because I still have plenty to show you guys, I promise you. So please, um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We are very, very close to 350. That would be an awesome goal. And uh, I recently broke 600 or over 600 on Instagram, so that's really awesome as well. So thank you for those who follow me on that platform. And uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Um, definitely continue to stay on the hunt, and I promise that you will find it. And uh, yeah, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.